your bull, sir. What? What a surprise. At ease, Sergeant. I know you're heading out on vacation. Well, the Antarctic Corps would like you to take it right here. But, sir, I was going to a warm tropical island. You scratch our back and we'll scratch yours, Hogwash. I'm assigning you to a priority one assignment. The military has been working on this secret biodome for over a year. What you're about to see is top secret, meant for your eyes only. <gasps> it's a paradise. Yes, it's the pinnacle of modern military science. Everything here, from the steam from the artificial volcano to the smallest grain of sand, is designed to nurture a single precious crop. I hope it's yams. I love yams. Whoa! Ultra Nanas! A bioengineered superfood with all the nutrients for the army on the move. Oh, it's not yams. Sergeant, you are not to eat the bananas or touch the bananas. You are only to look at the bananas when you're feeding and watering them. Understood, sir. On second thought, you better not even look at him. Uh, sir, about my vacation. Enjoy it, Sergeant. As long as the structure is secure and the Ultra Nanas are thriving, you are free to enjoy all the dome's amenities. Carry on! Sir, yes, sir, see and sundry, see and sir! Vacation? Here I come. A little drip here, and a little bitty drop there. And now it's time to unwind. Ooh. Incoming! <laughs> Huh? Halt, you little bad burglar! You're transacting on government property! Wow! Gotcha! Penguin, you are about to receive a lesson in trajectory. Can escape hogwash o the jungle, did you? Well, no knick-knack jingle jungling way, Pee-wee. You are hereby dishonorably discharged. Here you go, my little thirsty worsty. A drinky winky. And don't you worry, that bad boy penguin won't bother you anymore. Now it's time to play. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, 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 die, die. Uh, uh. No pilfering penguin's gonna foul up my furlough. One time too many, 
You banana peeling pirate! Sing this song, Duda. Uh, your vacation leave is permanently terminated until you fix that biodome top to bottom and regrow those ultra nanas. Now move it, move it, move it, move it, move it! Hunter Smedley, the world famous finder of lost undersea treasures, am about to fulfill my lifelong mission. These here little old X's mark the secret spots of the underwater treasure that's up for grabs to anyone who's smart enough to find it. I'm gonna locate it all and retire rich, rich, rich on the sunny beaches of Tahiti. Undersea treasure, here I come. Huh? Well, shiver my timbers. That's sailor talk. Are you a stowaway? Yes, you, penguin. Like my mama always said, good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> Lock out a certain stowaway and keep him from stowing away on my beach chair. Permanent lock. My high tech diving suit enables me to stay underwater longer than most divers. This here pirate ship sank over 300 years ago. And I'll just bet there's a big surprise waiting inside of this little old treasure chest. <laughs> Pirate Ghost! You again? Come back here and fight like a man, you little penguin! with me, you miserable little... Ah! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I have had just about enough of this horseplay. <laughs> Get off my sub and stay off. Bon voyage, you little penguin. Fifteen men on a seaman's chest. Yo ho hum and a barrel of fun. This here powerful undersea vacuum can collect twice the booty in half the time. Hmm. Why 
Why you? Give me back my key, you little vacuum clogger. Get back here! The wreckage of this here old battleship might contain some historical like treasures. Even an expert salvage hunter has to be careful using dynamite to free them up. Hmm. Sounds like something's already a might bit loose hereabouts. In this case, it's not. That boy is really starting to rust my doubloons. Cease and desist before I desist you myself. Uh oh. through the propeller shaft and surprise him to pieces. Yow! That does it, Penguin. It's Davy Jones' locker for you. Come back here, you little treasure trashy, you. Oh! No! Don't open that! We need to surface! Surface! <laughs> we gotta get rid of some weight! Toss out of everything but the valuables! are the best pancakes in the whole world. Chow down, eat up, and fill out that uniform, little soldier. <laughs> You're gonna make your Uncle Hogwash proud. We always oh. remember our motto. The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's... A lot of fun. Our motto is... The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is a good core. Junior. Oh, wait, that's a really swell motto, huh? Mm -mm, I gotta write that down. No more pancakes until you have completed your daily duties. Now, do them all, do them well, and do not report back to me until they are done. As you were, soldier. Ooh. Hey, come back here, you! <laughs> A cute little old penguin thief. Bye-bye, <laughs> penguin. Let's see. The first thing I gotta do is secure the perimeter of the base. Wow, the perimeter goes all around the base. This can make a soldier dizzy. Who 
handles pancake thieves. The guard on duty. Ooh, that's me! Stop! Ah, ah! Ooh. Mm, soft snow. You get back here with those flapjacks before I tell my uncle. Mm, better not tell uncle. I gotta do is to clean the top secret mosquito bomb launcher. Mm, when I did this in training class, I itched for a month. Step one, remove the mosquito bomb from the launching mechanism. I know right where that is. And put it out of harm's way. Here it'd be good. Perfect. Step two. A good soldier needs to be able to do this operation blindfolded. Mm, I don't remember this part from training school. Now remove the scope. Where's the scope? Here's Scopey Scopey. Sneaky. Aha! You better drop that tall stack. Got him. Uh oh. Hey, that'll show you who's boss of you around here. Me. Oh, skaters! Get back here, Pangolin. The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is the... Uh, uh, I got it here somewhere. Well, it's a cold core, but it is better than a mosquito body in the butt. <laughs> Next thing I gotta do is organize the supply shed. With that sneaky penguin out of the way, this job should be way easy. Guess I showed that scaredy penguin a thing or two or three about me. Hmm? What's this? From the office of Uncle Hogwash. Pack all pancakes in the mess hall onto a snowmobile. Have Private Chili Willy, right, that's you, have him remove them from the base. We have information that an infiltrator may be after him. Hmm, brilliant strategy. That's why my uncle is the Sarge. Nothing gets by him, no sirree. Carry on, Private Chili Willy. No! You're not in the Antarctic core! You are just a sneaky little penguin cheater, and I don't like sneaky little penguin cheaters! Oh! Stop! Understood. Yes, sir. And why? Because the Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's what? A uh, core with a lot of duties? No, it's a cold core, but it's sometimes warm. No, it's a cold core, but it's it's your core, Uncle. Yes. No. Thank you. 
Snow Peak Smedley, the world famous mountain climber, and I am determined to be the first individual to conquer Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. These here high tech gadgets are gonna help me climb where no climber has clumbed before. Mmm, mmm. And there's nothing like warm homemade soup to give a climber pure energy to make it to the top. <laughs> Only a skilled climber like myself can endure these high, high altitudes. <laughs> Hmm, the air must be getting a mite thin. If I didn't know better, I'd think I was suddenly carrying extra weight. Huh? Well, I'll be a rival climber. You think you can beat me to the top by eating my soup and starving me off this here mountain, little fella? Well, guess what? Your scheme is not -a gonna work. Conniving little penguin, ain't he? Gimme! Now, this mountain ain't big enough for the both of us, small fry. I'll be climbing up that mountain. Yes, I will. Yes, I... Huh? What the... Yay! Now, hold on one hand grip stealing minute. Uh-oh. Huh? That little fella is not gonna beat me to the summit. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get you, you little cliff climbing soup napper, you. Oh! Yikes! Phew. A professional climber knows there are good climbing days and bad climbing days. This is shaping up to be one of the latter. My food, you mountainside saboteur, you! Hmm, pretty loose snowpack for this high altitude. But my vast knowledge of the latest high-tech equipment has prepared me for any condition. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see that little old amateur beat me to the top now. A seasoned climber knows how to listen to the sounds of the mountain. Hmm, that's not the wind. <laughs> hey, how'd you get up? <laughs> but what a seasoned climber knows most is when it's time to clobber the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Yup, almost to the tippy top. And this here gadget from the Climber of the Month Club is gonna get me up there before that penguin for sure. Huh? What gives? Oh! Oh, no, you don't! I'm getting to the top before you, you little... Uh-oh. Yay! <laughs> Oh, no, little fella. That's not gonna work on me. A pro like Snow Peak Smedley knows you never, ever look down. <laughs> when nearing the summit, it's very important to be quiet as a snow mouse. Any noise could trigger a dangerous avalanche. Whew! 
It's a good thing you don't talk much, neither. You might have snowed us under an avalanche. Huh? with you, ruining my ascent, destroying my equipment. Stay away from me! Ugh! Yes, folks, we're about to check in on Snow Peak Smedley's world record climb up Mount Neverest. Wow, this is news, folks! The world-famous climber Snow Peak Smedley has conquered Mount Neverest. Wait a minute, that's not Snow Peak Smedley, it's... A penguin! <laughs> You've just become the first individual to reach the summit of Mount Neverest. What are you gonna do now? 